Hey guys, this will contain minor spoilers for arc 6 of the web novel, so do keep that in mind. I'm making this video because you guys wanted me to make this video, and don't worry if your choice wasn't chosen. As I said before in my Echidna video, I've read the comments, I'm going to be making videos on pretty much everything, so don't worry. Anyway, let's get into the actual theory. During the course of ReZero, many people have wondered how exactly does Return by Death activate? Is Subaru sent to an alternative world, or is Subaru's consciousness simply sent back in time? We first got a brief taste of a possible answer in Season 2 Episode 12, when Subaru accidentally triggers the second trial. In the second trial, he sees various ways he has died, and how the people close to him have reacted to his death. Most people assumed that this would confirm that when Subaru dies, he's in fact sent to a different world back in time, and he has to try again whilst the world he died in resumes on as normal. However, what this fails to take into account is the fact that Echidna states afterwards that the only person that would know is Satella, and that all of the trials are constructed from Subaru's memories and therefore may not actually occur. So where do we go from here to get an answer? Well, we need to look at the light novel and look at the narration and extra information given to us in the light novel to come to a conclusion. An example of this extra information comes from light novel 5, specifically season 1 episode 15, where Park kills Subaru. So if we were to take the light novel and check the information given to us, it states that Subaru's consciousness went back in time and inhabited his body once more. So well there we go, theory solved, we know the answer. When Subaru dies, his consciousness goes back in time, so kinda like the Steinsgate time leap machine. Or at least it would be if Tape, the author of ReZero, wasn't a total troll. And the reason why I say this is because in Light Novel 6, we do get a different description to how Return by Death operates, which contradicts the first answer I've given. This comes when Puck confronts Beetlejuice and Subaru, which results in Subaru dying. And if we look at what the Light Novel states, it actually tells us at the bottom, to Subaru, it was the being who would bring him to death at the end of his 10th time the 10th world. So wait a second, 10th world? So he is getting sent to a different world instead of going back in time and inhabiting his body? This is obviously a contradiction. Now obviously this is Tape just being a troll per usual because he knows people are going to look at the descriptions of Return by Death. So if we can't actually trust Tape and we can't trust Satella, literally the only character in the show that could tell us the actual answer, what can we do to solve the situation? Well, we can actually solve it by using some ARC-6 knowledge. So the few of you that are watching this video and you have no clue what happens in ARC-6, the people in the image above are going to what's known as the Pleiades Watchtower. And in this watchtower, they're looking for the Sage, because the Great Sage would find a way to cure Rem and Julius's name and memories. During the course of their time at the watchtower, Subaru solves a trial which gains him access to a library. The reason why this library is important is because it houses the books of the dead. So whenever someone dies, their book will appear here and it will contain the memories of their life. The only other piece of information you need to know is that the Books of the Dead are connected to the Hall of Memories, which is in the cradle of Odd Lagna. Odd Lagna is like the world or the soul of the world itself. The unique thing about Subaru is that Subaru had a Book of the Dead for every death he had accumulated throughout the entire series. And you can actually use this to disprove the parallel world theory by using a thought experiment. So this is how you can actually disprove the parallel world theory using a small thought experiment using the Books of the Dead. So on the left hand side we have Subaru which is in the first world and we know he has zero Books of the Dead. So let's say for example he dies in that world and he moves over to a second world using Return by Death. In this second world, because he hasn't died yet, because this is a new world, he would have zero deaths in this world and therefore he would not have a book of the dead however 
when Subaru goes to the library, which has all the books of the dead, he has multiple books there, which have every death he's actually done over the course of the series. So we know that he doesn't go to a new world because if he did, he would have zero books of the dead. This also matches up with the opening where you can see time reverse as Satella appears. We can actually explain this single world theory using a graph, so please bear with me. Now, I'm assuming most of you know how to read a graph, but essentially all you really need to know is that on the X axis, so at the bottom, time progresses normally until Subaru gets to a death point which is labelled on the graph. At this point, time flows backwards for people, however, in the perspective of the world, or Odd Lagnar, it still continues without any issue. And that's the reason why the world, or Odd Lagnar, can have multiple books of the dead for Subaru because the world remembers what's happened to Subaru however people in the world do not. Someone might ask does that mean that other characters have multiple books of the dead? No because when Return by Death happens only Subaru retains his memories and to have a book of the dead you need memories to be converted into a book of the dead and only Subaru retains memories and everyone else does forget. The evidence for this is also the fact that the only time the main characters find the Book of the Dead of the main cast is when Meili gets strangled to death. Then they immediately find her Book of the Death for that death that she got strangled. And Subaru then reads that book. So again that shows me that there's only one Book of the Dead for each character or else the characters should have found their Books of the Dead much faster when they were looking through the library. And whilst it's non-canon, it would make no sense for Gluttony if Subaru to kill all of his friends if there was multiple books of the dead for each character already. So it tells me that there is no multiple books for the other characters. So another question people ask is why did no other character find Subaru's books of the dead if he had like 40 of them? And the reason for that of course is because Subaru's books of the dead are written in kanji. Japanese and of course in the ReZero world characters cannot read kanji so they wouldn't see the book and then think it's Subaru's. And the final thing I'll mention about why I believe Parallel Worlds does not exist is because if there are different worlds that means each world would have a Satella in it and the Witch of Envy. And because they love Subaru so much and they can sort of pull in between worlds when he dies does that mean the Satellas are gonna start like fighting over him like to me it just makes no sense because imagine the Satella of one world that Subaru dies what's she gonna do somehow pull another Subaru into the world like I, I don't know to me it makes no logical sense like there'll, there'll be like a Satella harem going on so I don't know anyway that's it for the video thank you for watching